So I always mix up BCAs before I go, uh, but I've been out of BCAs for the last two days, so I've been sneaking some of my roommates. Don't tell him, but chances are he's gonna see this video anyway, so thanks, buddy. So I'm going back to the gym again today. I was there earlier this morning, but I got up kind of late today, so I'm headed back for a second round. Um, what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing a lot of HIIT cardio. I wanted to show you guys why I do that. So the reason you want to do HIIT cardio is it puts your body into a different type of fat burning state. It increases your metabolic rate. What the metabolic rate is, is the rate at which your body burns calories. Basically what that means is even after you're done doing your high intensity interval training, your body is going to continue to burn calories. I personally prefer HIIT cardio to steady state cardio just because it has a lot more benefits, I think. Um, plus, running on a treadmill for 30 minutes, it, it just drives me crazy. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite types of high intensity interval training, and make sure you guys let me know what you think. I'll show you a few that I started with, and then a few that I'm doing now, just so you can see some of the progression that goes into it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. So there's three types of HIIT cardio that I do. Uh, let me know which one you guys like most down in the comments below. If you found that this HIIT cardio kicks your butt as much as it kicks mine, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I do incorporate some of the steady state cardio just because it's good for the cardiovascular system. Um, I just do it a little bit less than I do the HIIT cardio. I do HIIT maybe three to four times a week and then steady state cardio maybe twice a week. So. I try to incorporate all different types, but let me know which one you guys like most. Thanks.